Identifying range and domain on a discrete graph. Tomorrow we're going to start talking about continuous graphs, but today is a discrete graph. So a discrete graph is discrete data that's disconnected. So they're just individual points. Tomorrow when we start talking about continuous graphs, they're going to be lines, curves, circles, they're gonna all be connected. So the numbers, when you list them, that's exactly what you do. So you take the set of domain and range and they're numbers that can be listed. So the domain is a set of all X right on. And to write the domain of a discrete function or graph, you're going to list, literally just list all the X values from least to greatest, you do need to separate them with commas because if you want to list a three and a four, otherwise it would look like a 34. And you want to denote it with the braces, which we've done certain other topics. That denotes a set of numbers. So let's get good at making those braces. The range is a set of all what? Y values, yep. And to write the range of a discrete function, you're going to just list all the y values from least to greatest separated by commas in your denoted set.